Before we get started, I just wanted to mention, you should always feel safe, warm, loved. A magical inspiration should occur in a generalized tarot reading like this. So if you're feeling now like, yeah, I want to see what she has to say, then come with me and let's shuffle. Capricorn, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's do a reading. Capricorn, let's do a love reading. Let's see if we can catch a theme with this deck here. No, oh, I didn't want to come out. Remember, this is for adults only. It's all about love. And this is, oh, maybe going to be all about your passion with Pele. Now, is it sexual passion we're going to talk about or a life passion? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how close we get. This is for adults only. It is entertainment only. We will be doing a very traditional spread. But we will top it up many times just to keep getting clarifiers. Remember to only take what resonates, Capricorn. Pele, of course, is from the Hawaiian goddess. Finding your heart's true desire. And you know, your heart can have more than one desire, right? Maybe you change your career every seven years because you're that qualified to have more than one desire. Uh-oh, the king of water. Are we talking a Scorpio? <laughs> Do you have a Scorpio on your mind, Capricorn? Because it kind of looks like you might. The Scorpio is trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. All right, what's crossing this? What's challenging this connection? <gasps> An another watery card. The Six of Cups is somebody from your past, right? Memories, somebody with a history, romanticizing the past, but it's coming up. Here's the thing. You don't want the connection of the past energy anymore. You don't want to get it on with this King of Scorpio again. But the universe keeps cycling him back. All right. Now I'm saying him. It could be a her. You use whatever you have to. But the universe keeps cycling this one back. Maybe this is the time it works. Maybe. Let's look at your destiny card. The Queen, <gasps> the queen of Cups. But I love you. <laughs> Tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, loving. The Queen of Cups might sound a little bit like me, my voice. Again, you use whatever pronoun you need to, right? Him or her. Isn't this gorgeous, all this water? Untypical for a Capricorn with all this water. Yet here we come. Whoosh. <laughs> We're going to wash around you, maybe baptize you a little bit. Oh, <laughs> maybe a bit of a sexual baptism. Is there such a thing? All right, let's move along. I'm going to lay out the rest of the cards and then we'll talk through them. Now, there we are. There's the fire with the water. There's Pele, right? With the fire in the water. And a little bit of conversation. A little more conversation. Two eights. Nice. More conversation. I mean, have you ever not been able to talk it out with a Scorpio? They're just they're they're the best conversationalists. They're going to make you think deep. They're going to make you transcend. Something's going to burn away. Something's going to burn away once you get to know Scorpio. They are very transformative. Oh, you guys, another ending the reading off with this nine of cups. Six, nine, queen, king. Mm. 
Mm, yeah. Likey. Mm, likey. So we're getting back to this position card. This is the fourth card, which is the distant past. In this position, we have the eight of wands, which is um, everything happened too quickly. Events moved fast, delays. So I feel like uh, you. this is perhaps referring to this returning Scorpio energy. You know, maybe they um, burned you bad <laughs> like five years ago and it ended quickly. It came out of nowhere, the ending, and you had to move on with no choice. And perhaps you two haven't been in contact for five years and now the universe is cycling them back in. I feel like they've grown. This feels light and airy, right? With all these air signs, it feels light. It feels like there's a lot of conversations coming um, with this scorpionic energy. So this is the um, recent past with the Eight of Swords, you know, not letting go. The Eight of Swords is feeling trapped. Again, these two cards are both past energy. So it's okay that they're trapped energy because they're in the past and we don't want to know the unknowns of what didn't happen in the past. We want conversations that move forward. So this card six is the futuristic card, which is the Knight of Swords, ambition, driven, on a mission, intelligent, decisive. They've got a lot of energy, which is very Scorpio, right? Scorpio rarely sits still. Maybe this Scorpio, dear Capricorn, is your destiny is your future maybe they've grown and they're fitting your passion now maybe your timelines are coming together maybe when we move over to this position which is you the four of swords cold cold energy is this is like a witch in church or a vampire in a church right it also, though, it's time to take a rest. It's taking a vacation. So right now, perhaps you're in isolation mode, which was, you know, meditative for you. We move into this card, which is your environment. It's coming up with the Ace of Pentacles, which is seeds. Seeds being offered. Like, I feel like this, okay? The universe. This is the Ace of Pentacles. The universe gives you a hand with a bunch of seeds. Now, maybe you're only in the mind frame where you just take one and go plant it and you say thank you. Maybe you're in the mind frame where you take them all and go plant them and say thank you, right? Do you see the perspective on that one? Are you taking it all or are you just taking one? Are you taking baby steps, right? Sometimes this card here is really intense sex. <laughs> So then we move into card nine, which is your hopes. And your, ho your hopes are coming up as the chariot card, which is movement. It's The chariot card is very beautiful. It's cancer energy, which is, again, the emotion. But the chariot card is just somebody who's physically gorgeous, right? Um, they're self-disciplined. They uh, are well-loved by a lot of people people they've overcome many obstacles to get to where they are at a young age so the final card which is the end result now before you go away we're going to redo this all again topping it up with another deck so this is the final card little face-to-face -face interruption here those were your first few cards you should be feeling like yeah uh, this is positive for me. I'm, yeah. All right. If you're feeling that, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Watch my next two pictures that I'm going to show. Support a local witch. <laughs> if not, we'll see you again sometime. The final card, the Nine of Cups, your wishes come true, concerns fade away, the love of a lifetime, waiting on a message, your self-esteem being at its ultimate highest. I can't imagine Capricorns ever having a self-esteem issue, ever, 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 ever. In this situation, this is a dream coming true. I feel like it's with this Scorpio energy. Um, perhaps 
who I'm talking about for you is not a Scorpio, but they have that Scorpio energy, you know, intense, fucked up, <laughs> but in a good way, resilient. They enjoy you, right? They don't have a crossroads for you. They don't. There's no choice when it comes to them. So let's add in now. Let's add in another card. Ooh, that one cut short. For this turnaround, let's call in Archangel Gabriel and the kind and compassionate water spirits of the West to speak to us through this circle, to give us some intense information that makes us vulnerable to love, that keeps us open to the Scorpio connection that keeps it fruitful and healthy and full of flowers and grounded energy and the ground that allows the flowers to grow. Mm, the throat chakra. Look at that tigress. That tigress is on a mission. <laughs> and she's stalking her prey. <laughs> Again, we're starting with watery energy. The throat chakra is needing to have a conversation with somebody. Mm, the solar plexus. So we're getting our chakras aligned here. The solar plexus is where your intelligence and your fear lies. So that's a challenger. It might be coming up as a fear right now. I rarely to never think of Capricorn as experiencing fear. To me, Capricorn are a much desired sanctuary of grounded energy. They're inspirational. They're bold. They are genius. They're stable. They're committed. So let's move on. The crown chakra. Oh my God, we're doing all the chakras here. Well, let's clean them up and balance them while we're at it. <laughs> Of course, the crown chakra is when your third eye is completely balanced. Now we're balancing our chakras here. Maybe you need to go for a Reiki session or a body talk session just to get them all cleared up. Or if you can't afford a Reiki session, just go lay on the dirt for like a half an hour. Go lay in the dirt. Get your chakras back to where they're supposed to be. Parched. Okay, so this is the past energy. Perhaps this resembles somebody from your past. Perhaps this new love coming in has these big blue eyes and the fresh red lips. However, this is past energy, right? However, on the other hand, on the other hand, on the other hand, this was a, a, an energy from the past coming up again. Beauty of an orange poppy opening. This is like the nine of cups. She's making a wish. All right, she's blowing a wand of bubbles into the sky and making wishes. It also can represent a mentor. Again, this is past energy. So perhaps a wish from a long time ago is about to come to fruition. And it was at a time when you were with a Scorpio that you made the wish. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, the tower card. Perverted fate. So the tower card comes into a reading when there's a series of events that change your life. This is coming in futuristic card too, right? So um, a series of events that changes your life for the better, all right? It might seem like an obstacle, but it's not. It's getting you to where your crown chakra is supposed to be in this world with your passionate energy, right? With Pele. Keep going firm stance. She is a witch. She is a mighty witch. She does not second guess anything ever. The Viking, which is the queen of swords. All right, now see, she's got her hammer. She's got her feet of crocodiles and snakes. She is that Viking energy of uh, Lagartha, right? Like the queen of swords divorced, intelligent, high expectations of people around her. That's the energy you're, you're moving in. 
That's the energy people are seeing you as. So take advantage of it. This is you. I didn't mean it. Again, a lady with a, a tool. A lady with a means to an end. Bedroom eyes. The three of wands. The firm decision on somebody. Plans are well underway. Okay. Let's do one more deck here. We want even more details. That Archangel Gabriel gave us a lot of information in that stack. We should thank her. Thank you, Archangel Gabriel, for making this reading a little more clear and cognizant. Mm, breathe down to your toes. Mm. And let it out. Mm, that card looks like it wants to be first, doesn't it? Let's see what it is. The Tarantula, which is, this is the Queen of Wands, inspired, bold, involved, understanding. Action and adventure. So you've moved yourself through the course of this reading from that water, I was going to say dirty water, to the sacred fire. <laughs> I like that, dirty water. <laughs> the gazelle this, this is the out this is the emperor okay it's an alpha leader he's in charge that's in the challenger position the gazelle it's also fiery energy so two very hot people trying to make a connection and the frog the frog is all about um it's watery right it's emotional it's having options, but not the one. Mm, that grounded. This is you, your earthworm. The earthworm is very much Capricorn energy, right? They're grounded. They're trying to find. They're trying to find which way to go. This is past energy when you were a bit mixed up. And you're not there anymore. This card, too, will also be past energy of the camel. You had this craving for this Scorpio. This is water energy. You had the craving for the Scorpio. Again, I think a wish you made five years ago when you were with a Scorpio is coming true now. I, I think so. The B is this. This in metaphysics represent the swords, the conversation, the air energy. All right. So for me, I feel like this Scorpio left you for somebody else five years ago. They are no longer with that person. They've done their work, this Scorpio. They've done their work. And they're coming in. Now look at the color coordination in these two cards here. They're coming in to balance your life, but they're going to do it in a very towery way. <laughs> All right, let's move down to you. A hyena. This is again the balance, the balance of the passion and the grounded energy, laughing things out, coming at this Scorpio relationship with with a lighthearted gesture, laughing it through rather than saying ah and blocking. You know you're you're enjoying this. You're gonna you're gonna take it day by day in a very lighthearted way. Mm, the black egg. This is the world. This is the end of the deck. This is changing a chapter and very happily changing a chapter. I mean, look at the color coordination. These two feel like, I feel like this egg is right in her womb and she's birthing it, birthing a new chapter. Oof, that was deep. Now, I want you to take a breath. Take a deep breath down to your toes. I want you to guess what card this is because this card right here, we need two more cards to finish this spread. So we have hopes and result. I want you to tell me what, what card this is. I feel like, I feel like this might be the spider or the raven. Okay, now take a deep breath down to your toes and exhale so that it leaves out your crown and, and you take a guess what animal you feel this might be here. Oh, the octopus, the genius. The word genius has come up many times in this reading and the genius is often a Scorpio or a Capricorn and I just love this energy for you. 
the genius. The octopus gets out of any situation it's put in every time. All right. So now what's the final outcome here? What card do you want this to be? Take a deep breath. What card do you want this to be? I'm going to stick with the spider or the raven. Are you ready? You ready? You have your choice made. The turtle. We were both wrong. <laughs> so the turtle is a reminder of slow and steady wins the race right? Slow and steady. This new love that comes in is going to be slow and steady. Look at these colors. Because these colors resonate so profoundly, I feel like this energy is very balanced. This Scorpio energy that's coming into your world is very balanced love. They've grown. I hope I see you again. Bye.